Hello again. Now it is time to research advanced analytics functionality. Let's dive in. Trends Analytics includes the built-in machine learning algorithms for the time series forecasting. From the business point of view, it can be used for predictive maintenance, forecasting demand, resource consumption, and much more. All required work, like data filtering, normalization, and model training, performed in the background. You can enable prediction for any field, including the calculated fields. Simple prediction. In this example, we monitor the vibration of pumps on the water station. We want to predict when the vibration level will reach the critical zone, so we can schedule preventive maintenance for the pump and avoid the unplanned downtime. So now we have created the line chart. We have added date row field into X section and focused on some particular pump. We have added pump vibration telemetry on Y axis. And now we will enable prediction. We will select Fourier transformation as prediction method and then set prediction unit and range. We will forecast the vibration trend for the next two days. Voila! Here we know the values. Let's investigate another application – resource usage forecasting. In this example, we would like to forecast how much energy would be consumed by the building next year. We have buildings, apartments, and each apartment has an energy meter. We need to aggregate telemetry from the sensors on the building's level and then build a forecast. We have created the bar chart for that. Add date raw field into x-axis section. Add energy consumption field on the y-axis. Here we can analyze the current trend of consumption. Add energy consumption field once again. Use some aggregation for both fields. Enable prediction checkbox for the forecast field and choose linear regressor as prediction method. Set prediction unit to years. Change the label of this field to distinguish between the historical and predicted values. And building list into the filter section. Select the building. We will forecast the values for the next year. Prediction models. Trends Analytics include several machine learning algorithms for the time series forecasting. Linear regression is the family of algorithms employed in supervised machine learning tasks. There are two types of linear regression – linear regression and OLS linear regression – ordinary least squares. Linear regression is a machine learning algorithm based on supervised learning. Linear regression is used to study the linear relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. In this example, the X variable, independent variable, can be work experience, and Y variable is salary of the person. The regression line is the best fit line for our model. ARIMA is acronym that stands for Autoregressive Integrated Moving Average. This is one of the earliest and effective machine learning algorithms to perform time series forecasting. This is the combination of autoregression and moving average. First, let's understand what is AR part of ARIMA. Autoregression is a time series model that uses observation from previous time steps as input to the regression equation to predict the value and the next time step. In simple words, it performs regression in the previous time step t-1 to predict t. Now MA stands for moving average, which is also called a rolling mean. Basically, we are calculated the simple average in the particular time frame and dividing it by total number of time frames taken. And the next algorithm for year transformation. In 1994, Fourier transformation was described as one of the most important numeric algorithms of our lifetime. It was also included in top 10 algorithms of 20th century. 
thanks to its capacity in terms of decomposing the function into sum of sinusoids and different frequencies, amplitude and phase, Fourier transformation can be used effectively for the seasonal patterns forecasting. This is because this approach takes a time series and maps it into a frequency spectrum in the frequency domain. Fourier transformation allows overcoming certain limitations in capturing seasonality phenomena that presented in our approaches.